So the purpose of the first moves is to teach you how to relax your legs as much as you can. The instruction is you swing the arms forward and back with soft feet. Swing back and forth with soft So you fling the arms and you don't mechanically move them. You throw them forward and when they fall you throw them backward and when they fall you throw them forward. I get that. So I thought it was you throw them forward and you just let them flop. Well, yeah, right. Okay. But they got to go backward a little bit before they can get enough momentum. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, and then you just let it go. Keep letting your feet stay relaxed, and that will put you in a balanced position. If your feet are tight, you would end up swaying forward because your feet would be propping you up. But if you keep your feet relaxed so you can't prop yourself up with your feet, you must be centered. I usually find if I do this, I'll end up wanting to, like, fall backwards almost. Yeah, well, that just uh, needs a little refinement of movement skill. Okay. Okay, now once you've done that, in order to keep your center, you bring your arms up along your sides so that your arms don't make you forward or backward. Right, you got it. You tip your head back, and then you bring your pelvis forward and back, reaching. It's your head, but not like the, the upper back? You just look at your hands, reach, and rock your pelvis while reaching. That'll get you to elongate some. Okay. At this point, you maintain the reach, and by folding at the hip joints, you bow forward. Slow motion. Feel gravity pull increasing as you come down. And you come down to where your easy limit is. Here. Okay, that's fine. And then from there, <clears throat> you let your arms hang. Well, you leave your arms like this. I'll leave your arms like that. And as you exhale, you round your back and tuck your chin under. And as you inhale, you bring your head up and arch your back and let yourself fold down further and you notice you can then you exhale and round your back inhale and as you lean backward let yourself fall further down notice you could come down even further so you repeat this action some reasonable number of times according to you and that will be where you end up for this repetition of the action Check your knees, make sure they are not locked, but minimally bent. If they're locked, you won't get freedom. Is this like, so, is it, this is relaxed, but like this is locked? Well, I, you want me to visual, and I say you check it yourself by feeling. Lock your knees, feel what that feels like, and then stop locking them. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so here. Okay, so if you're there, from this point, your arms hang freely, your head hangs freely, and you bring your, you press your hands up against your shins, and you slide up as you bring yourself up. It's not an arm action. The arms and shoulders are straight, and you come upward, feeling the tension roll up your spine to your back between, not up and down, just up. Just up. You're locating a position. Come all the way up. Feel the sensation go between your shoulder blades when you're high enough. Yeah. Okay. And now you let yourself slide down forward. Now you notice that you're further even already from what you first showed me a while ago. Right. And so by exhaling, you bring yourself up with elbows straight. You rub the fronts of your shins. Knees are always partially or minimally bent. The feet are soft so that you stay at balance. If you're not balanced, you will tighten yourself up. So you come up and down about five times. So you're already further from the last time. And just keep on up and down. I exhale up, inhale down. No, you exhale down. And inhale up. You notice you're coming down further each time. So 
So that was three. Do two more. This is usually the one that like makes me sweat and like like hot like I'm cold in this room. This makes me hot and meet like I'm working hard right now as if I was like working out. Even uh -huh. Yeah. So once you've reached some limit, you've done round five, that's as far down as you're gonna get. You rub the fronts of your shins. Uh unlock elbows. Yeah, that's right. You can unlock your elbows for this. You rub the fronts up and down generously over the kneecaps. Just forward and down, up and down. Not round and round, just up and down. All the way down, all the way up. That's it. Now you rub the outsides the same way. Then you rub the insides the same way. All the way up. It's a long movement. <laughs> and then up the backs of the calves. Once you've done a few of those, up behind the knees, up along your hamstrings to your buttocks, and then with soft fists you smack behind the hip joints. Now you ass that's it. And now you assume the racing dive position. That means bending forward, arms back, and you go up and down, say three times, maybe five. This is consolidating the change. The freedom of the hamstrings is connected now with the control of the front thigh muscles. That's it. And let your head and arms hang. And then in a series of slow pumps, you straighten and bend your knees higher each time. That's it. All the way to fully upright. And there you are. So you've done one pass through. And you got whatever. Looks like about two to three inches of additional length or reach with your fingertips. Yeah. And that was one pass. <laughs> yeah. So there's no stretching involved. No, none necessary and it wouldn't work anyway.